welcome back in this video we are going to learn about operating system deployments driver management so like each and every models have required some drivers for uh, rebuild the machine using the task sequence so first of all need to know which types of driver required basically there are two types of drivers required for any machines for uh, uh, rebuilding using the task sequence like one for the BNP drivers and also required the system drivers what is the BNP drivers like uh, basically uh, first of all we need to know about the uh, system drivers here you can see here is a my physical machine I have opened the computer management and device management you can see lot lots of uh, component like uh, audio display graphic drivers firmware and uh, network drivers and also some chip chipset bios related drivers these are the all drivers has known as the system drivers and also we need to require some additional driver for booting any machine over the networks like winp drivers without winp drivers you cannot boot any device using pixie boot so winp driver we must need to integrate on the boot image like these are the boot image have playing the very uh, important role for the any task sequence like any usd usd related uh, task sequence or any operating system deployment in these um, boot image we have integrated some winp drivers like uh, each and every product uh, have containing the specific NAC or any thunderbird and usb c ports like you can see here not any BNP drivers are existing in boot image because this is a my uh, lab environment we did not uh, integrated so i can did today this video so basically uh, suppose like uh, you have uh, multiple models in your organization so how you can uh, added all models drivers in a uh, one single task sequence and you can create your uh, like a production task sequence is a much powerful and uh, also you can integrate like a Lenovo HP and Dell these are the three most popular vendors provide the uh, provide the like a uh, when like uh, devices for the corporates so like uh, uh, in this video we can take the Lenovo example so if you have any specific uh, serial number you can put here and like uh, in my case I have one serial number just copy here and put like uh, this is a thinkbook 14s gen 2 and uh, driver section click on manual drivers here is the option sub and utilities you can see here like a uh, SCCM package it containing the uh, system specific like a uh, system drivers all think book 14 is related all system specific driver containing a SCCM package and also you can see here like uh, Intel Thunderbird like in a modern day some of the uh, um, computers like uh, some of laptops notebooks have not a uh, uh, LAN port is uh, like uh, it used to the C port USB C port so is a Intel Thunderbird driver used for the WinP boots and also you can see here it's a very less like uh, around 1.6 MB and it's containing the so you can download here I have already downloaded First, you uh, like you uh, identify the drivers and download. Then you need to unzip, accept, browse. You can select the any specific path where you can unzip. And you can create own i have already created let me okay anyway 
you can use the default one stack here inside the driver package it containing all required drivers in a single single format as the like known as the cap format and are some and also require some dll files and this one is the winp drivers and you can also extract same way this one only stack you make sure you not installed any like a physical server or any server so you first you need to copy in a uh, in a any test machine and extract the folder extract the content then you move to the any specific uh, like uh, a specific location you have created the uh, share path where you can store all SCCM related packages and softwares so extract the folders and here you create the drivers thunderbird drivers like you can see here is it a, a winp driver have only single driver it containing the uh, storage and NAC drivers only like uh, usb storage drivers and network drivers so just you can copy here I have already created the uh, we have using the standard format like uh, as a production like we have created the first we need to explain little bit is a share folder inside share folder we containing all application OSD patch and uh, etc uh, like uh, as a repository of SCCM we have created and inside OSD we have also created the drivers inside driver we have created two separate folders first for driver source and second for driver package driver package like you want to know what is the driver package driver package means it containing all drivers you download from the supported vendor sites so is it, is it a like a drivers driver package okay and leave it paste it here deleted and during the creation of like uh, these are the okay driver source paste it here winp drivers this one driver source means driver source are containing the all drivers inside a single file after that you extract and these are the driver source like uh, these one the driver source post up post up the creation of driver package you can create the driver package here and also you can import all drivers let me uh, explain so this is a my SCCM primary SCCM so click on um, software library and expand the operating system here is the two option like drivers and driver package so uh, what is the drivers like a drivers have containing each and every uh, integrated uh, hardware parts like a win like a chipset drivers uh, audio drivers all drivers after creating of the driver package you import all drivers it's known as the drivers and driver package as the bundle of drivers containing all drivers inside of one driver package is known as the driver package so there are two ways you can create the first driver or you can create the driver package so in this we create the first driver package just right click create the driver package like uh, put the proper name Lenovo T14 Gen 2 and also you have provide the source path where you store the driver packages click on driver here you create the empty like a uh, empty folder winp 
okay then pin driv en drivers required the unc path just copy the entire path oh sorry paste it here you can put the t14 t14 gen gen2 driver manufacturer like lenovo lenovo okay so here you have just created the driver package content it is not containing any things okay first you have created the driver package then you need to import the drivers just click on the drivers click on import drivers here is the key 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 part you have downloaded the entire setup from uh, uh, lenovo sites so you need to put the source path like i have created the source folder lenovo inside winp driver you can also copy the share path you can see copy it paste here just click on next uh, it will take uh, around uh, one to two minutes as per the depend on the driver package like it's a winp drivers this like here you can see lots of drivers like a uh, thunderbird drivers and also you can see the like a uh, net drivers system component drivers and also here is the categorization is a very very important part if you are working in the production environment and production have multiples models you can categorize it is very easy to identify the drivers so we create the category here like a winp lenovo t14 gen2 sorry to t14 okay okay so you can create the category in further if uh, someone can check and review very easily if you are not created the category to creating the lots of confusion so just click on next here you have or option you can create the driver package here or we have already created so uh, before moving to just uh, launch one more cell okay just we have created the driver package template it did not containing anything okay so you can see here as the same driver package is pop up here or you can also create the here is the option you can create the right now as a new driver package but as a best practice uh, you can first create the driver package then create import the drivers during the import driver it uh, driver uh, package pop also is get pop up here so it is the best practice to how you, you guys totally depend on the man to many how you, you can use and you can like um, i have created the for driver package then import the drivers during the import wizard is also pop up the existing driver package you can select here next here is the key thing basically like uh, we have imported the winp drivers so it is a uh, prompting to add this driver in a winp driver uh, boot image or not uh, like uh, we have only added the winp drivers it is only used for the winp like uh, here you can see and also here is the read documents you can download and read the mm, documents so i want to add a winp driver in boot image just click on next it's asking about like uh, you can confirm the yes i i can 
oh sorry is it uh, not a 64 bit okay next so it like uh, here is the um, tricky part it uh, mounting and mounting uh, and also it will here you can see the like a uh, boot image updating and unmount the boot image and inject the drivers then mount again mount the boot boot image so it will take uh, time around five, two to five minutes in the meantime i have already track the system drivers uh, let me check sorry drivers here is here here is your system drivers so and i'm also copy the drivers paste it here source i've created one more Lenovo T14 paste it here so you can see here it containing all audio camera chipset fingerprint drivers just scratch it paste it here and also delete this so so again I have already opened one more cell just leave it and we have created the system driver is a basically just say like as all step or same just during the driver import you can check and carefully uh, here not a not uh, not select the uh, drive system driver in a boot image because if you have selected system driver in boot image it will be corrupted because it is like a system image uh, system driver sub containing the 2 to 3 gbs folder and also microsoft recommended boot image uh, not uh, more than 500 mb so you make sure during the creation of any driver driver package you did not uh, select the system driver in a boot image not okay so LEN, Lenovo okay sorry caps lock on T14 mm, follow the same driver package here the this way system and drivers you can copy the unc path copy paste it here lenovo model t14 Gen 2 mm. Oh sorry Gen 2 Okay You can also edit like uh, drivers apply here okay first we need to check here you can see uh, like a WinP driver is successfully imported and also you can verify like click on boot image like you uh, also check like a uh, also distribute the um, uh, like I add, add updated the timestamp at 8 at 33 pm just right click properties here you can able to see here these are the drivers we have imported in a uh, boot image so these are the drivers used for the booting any uh, t14 gen 2 relate, related machine you are trying to build from task sequence so you, it playing the most important 
role during the bin booting in a bin p state if machine did not find any storage or any nag driver you not able to get any ip from the scp you not able to build any machine so it is a very tricky part you not ever as a ccm have performing the lots during task sequence during the boot task sequence are performing the lots of issue related to winp drivers if any winp drivers are missing then you not able to boot any um, rebuild or reimage any uh, once you have created then we need to distribute the content on dps in my case i have only one dp just select this so in a first part i have created the driver package first created the driver package then import the drivers during the import and you can see here these are the drivers as a, as a production uh, lots of company have you using the uh, folder structure format so here you can create the separate folder for any like uh, l e n lenovo okay and inside folder you create the l e lenovo t14 okay and select this these all driver move to lenovo tip okay okay just wait first we need to create one more here create winp driver drivers okay click here move lenovo 14 so like uh, if you are not moving in subfolder in some time uh, you have created after some time you required create another driver package for any specific another models all models have drivers are containing here is the top of the drivers are you creating the lots of confusion so you create the driver structure format like uh, I have created the Lenovo inside Lenovo we created the model specific folder inside model created the uh, type of drivers like a winp and uh, and also you have like a different different more uh, different manufacturer like a dell you put here dell and also you have hp you also put here hp so hp related driver you move all these dell related or hp related it is very is useful to identify the drivers of where, where you have imported the driver okay now go to the uh, pack like uh, we have created the package and also you can see it's successfully distributed on the dp okay and uh, we have already created the driver package now I need to create import the drivers so the driver location sources sources operating system drivers source t14 copy the unc path paste it here next Okay, in a production environment, uh, all all company have using the standard format like a uh, uh, folder structure for it is very easy to identify which uh, how many driver how many models have driver you have inject in a task sequence are already created the drivers and sometime two or three models have containing the same drivers if you have not created the like a uh, I just uh, I explain here. Uh, let me like uh, you have any model, any specific models. Browse like uh, select the anything ThinkPad. Okay, no, just any model. Let me take. L, L series think pads okay so mm, 
ನೆಲೆವು ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರಿ ಜೆನ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಎ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಮೇನ್ವಲ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಲ್ಫೋನ್ ಯೋಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸ್ಲಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ವಿಚ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಜೆನ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಜೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಚಿಪ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ವೇ ಹೌ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡ್ ದ ಎನಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ವರ್ಜನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಓ ನೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸಮ್ವೇರ್ ದ ವಿನ್ ಪಿ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ಸ್ here you can see like uh, some uh, like a like uh, notable see here winp drivers okay leave it you can check another models like if you have like uh, some of the models have not required any specific win winp drivers so you can leave it only create the it will take some more time Okay. and also you like uh, suppose you have uh, using the one task sequence how you can create one task sequence for all existing models you can also like uh, uh, you, suppose you have your boss have told you have only create a one generic task sequence for all existing models so you can how you can tackle these types of situations uh once it done i uh, will be ex- explain about this it's like a 3 to 4 gb set of driver so it will take some more time and mac uh, like uh, lenovo uh, like uh, hp like uh, we have explained about little bit about uh, dell okay dell dr drivers like all vendors have like uh, lenovo and dell and hp these are the three popular vendor vendor have providing the very easy to identify how you can uh, download the driver for any specific models or this so you can here put here uh, and uh, like a serial number or and you can uh, easily uh, download from the computers and if you don't have any a specific computer you can also select the product laptops latitude series and then you would download the drivers and uh, uh, lenovo have providing very good gui you can easily to identify the drivers how you can uh, still it's basically it's containing almost how much 2.16 gb so it's it's take some more time
it's still validating driver information leave it just uh, explain like uh, leave it leave it here like I have already created the driver one driver for uh, WinP drivers just as per the uh, we have like we have created the 20s2 task sequence and here you can see I have created the modification on task sequence like a driver driver package we create the group of the driver and Lenovo on Len Lenovo specific driver inside Lenovo I have categorized as the notebook and desktops and also same here I can put here as the group as name, group name as notebook book and also when I add not here deleted you can put here desktop desktop so like uh, you have multiple drivers multiple models Dell and also using a Dell Dell notebooks and uh, uh, desktops HP and you have also containing the Lenovo drivers so how you can manage this types of uh, scenarios so you like uh, you have added all existing model driver and post that this task sequence is the most powerful you can easily build any machine using this task sequence so in inside like production environment we, we did not created the multiple task sequence for like uh, any specific models so we have created a one task sequence and redesign that uh, like uh, redesign the task sequence as per the requirement like I'm just taking the one example uh, because it's taking still one time so like uh, here as group name as book so I have suppose as uh, like uh, I have created the uh, driver package so you know which model you have created so just click on you have created the vendor type as a Lenovo inside Lenovo you created the laptop driver so select this one click on add here is the option driver you can uh, apply the driver package so you have created the task sequence where added the task sequence variable as a driver package and also put the name of the model apply drivers here e in Lenovo T14 G2 Gen2 okay browse here like you can see here uh, I have just created the driver but I know this is the WinP driver but I have just explaining you I have added okay here here is the option like uh, how you can identify the this uh, model have only apply on the t14 like uh, t14 specific models so you can add the condition as the WMI query put it here test it here okay so here uh, like uh, just explain about step of task sequence suppose uh, after installing operating system move to the uh, operate, um, driver sections and here is the option like uh, group if any Dell specific drivers you have added in task sequence it will 
come here and check if any Dell specific driver available in a task sequence then move to the inner 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 folder and check all if any drivers you have integrated then run and check the WMI query if query is true then install the driver on otherwise move to the next 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 this is a, like a, in this scenario we have created the notebook related so here once the task sequence uh, run this step in a Lenovo notebook inside notebook I have created the T14 Gen 2 specific model drivers so loop come inside apply drivers and also check WMI query if this query is true then apply the these driver on T14 machines if machine query is not true it's move to the next of the phase or throwing the error so this is the way you can add multiple model drivers or any single task sequence like click here apply and also Lenovo case Lenovo have provided the uh, let me yeah, here I can put the link like a ThinkPad deployment center you can review review the WMI query like uh, if you have any T14 gen or any specific model like uh, T14 any other model so here these are the models query like uh, select from WinP computer system product where version is ThinkPad L15 Gen 2 or you can add the product type basically in a production we have using this one because it's containing the percentile has showing 20x7 as the prefix of the model name and percentile of any specific uh, like uh, 8 9 10 or any other number so percentile have only check first four digit if it's true then apply the drivers or not true like I have have like a uh, one model have containing the um, suppose here t t forty thinkpad l15 have containing more more model model types uh, let me explain also model type now anyway so here is the see the machine type as the 20x2 20x2 and a product type this one so here this if you have added this query on task sequence and also option you can add multiple query you know let me just copy here oh sorry I added so here we we have added like uh, this one or you can add it this one you can add multiple query and also you can review from the here it is a very useful in a production environment so because it's a very challenging task for managing the managing the drivers on task sequence so now uh, we have created the driver and driver package if you have uh, multiple models you can create the drivers uh, then add here driver um, package and also add the query and, uh, uh, and then uh, if some have the Lenovo and other models then you can also add one more like uh, like this drivers add driver package enter the um, models name here so this task sequence has uh, like it is a very useful as a powerful task sequence you can easily build multiple models uh, machine using on one production task sequence is it is still and let me check if it's validated or not okay it's validated so you can also create the Lenovo Lenovo T14 Okay next 
this one we have created next so is a, here is a tricky part if you have added that system driver in boot image uh, these are the boot image got corrupted so make sure during the creation of any driver package you did not select the check mark in a boot image it's a tricky part only is a difference between winp driver during the import of winp driver or system drivers winp driver we integrated on boot image and system driver we did not add it in a boot image just click on next and also you can review the how many numbers of drivers are imported these are the chipset sounds or wireless and fingerprints so it will also take some more time uh, let me wait so in a production environment you can create the multiple model drivers and add all drivers on a single task sequence and one single task sequence is capable to manage all drive all all models bare metal machines or any like so in a production uh, all SCCM architect level or any SME are using the same and also you can also modify the some like uh, you you have also added some application if you want you can add application like install any application you can add here let me we will create the separate uh, video for the all operating system related scenarios like the bare metal machines first we cap uh, ref create the reference image then capture how we can create the reference image and capture the reference system install.vim file deploy on the task bare metal machines and in place upgrade we will planning to coming videos for creating all operating system related scenarios so just i am wind up this video and so it will uh, like uh, it will take some more time so uh, it's a same similar way you can create and add it there is only difference uh, you, you did not add any system driver in boot image i have already saw this so we have uh, wind up this video we will meet in a next video thank you